with X Company, which is a series that we have been loving so much recently. So in this video, you'll just get some more ideas on how to get your vintage on. So we have everything from what you need, what your vintage essentials are, and how to do your own antique wax seal stuff, which we are just obsessed with because it's just so cool that you could stamp your letters. I mean, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna write emails anymore because the wax seal is so cute that I'm just gonna write everybody handwritten letters like back in the day and stamp them. And also we are going to show you how to get your Instagram pictures looking all vintage and cute with some fun filters. So like the previous video, we were totally inspired by Aurora Love, the main character or girl boss of X Company and we just wanted to share with you these vintage lifestyle hacks. So yeah, we will have everything linked down below if you want to watch X Company with us because we are obsessed, really obsessed. <laughs> so yeah, with that being said, let's get straight into this video. Hack number one is to make your own vintage wax seal for all your handwritten letters. For this DIY, it's very important that you get a seal and wax candle in order for this to work. You'll also need some clay that you can bake, a cork for the base and the little charms or pendants to make your patterns with. You can also use a coin for your templates. First, you want to roll out your clay evenly into a nice flat piece and then use the coin to measure the size of your stamp. When this is done, gently cut it away from your clay until you have a circle like this. Take your pendant and then imprint it on your clay so you get a really deep indent. Gently remove it so as to not disturb your pattern and you should end up with something like this. Then you want to bake it following the instructions of your clay because every clay has different baking temperatures so make sure you check that. So once your clay has cooled and yes we did make some more patterns because it was so much fun, it's time to start assembling your stamp. All you have to do is hot glue your clay to your cork and you end up with a really easy stamp like this. Girl, so to start your stamping, you want to light your candle and let it drip over your envelope opening like this. You want to make sure you spread it out to form a nice circle. Then gently press your stamp into the wax before it cools. Hold it there for a few seconds, then gently remove it. You should end up getting a perfect stamp like this. These are really easy and inexpensive to make and just so much fun because anyone who gets a letter with a seal will love it. No, I love it. Hack number two is to create an old-fashioned oatmeal and apple shake. So for this, you need one third cup of cooked oatmeal, one cup of almond milk, one third cups of apple, some honey and vanilla essence. I don't wanna set to Add everything to your blender and give it a good pulse, making sure everything is blended perfectly. Then pour it into your favorite jar and enjoy! It's really simple and breakfast worthy and guaranteed to keep you full for a really really long time. The next hack is to paint your nails in pretty polka dot patterns and this is so simple. All you do is paint your nails in a base color and I chose this pastel blue and for the polka dots use white nail polish. An easy way to get perfect polka dots is to use a bobby pin. All you do is dip the tip of it into the white nail polish and add some dots to your nails. This will also look great on a red nail background so you can definitely mix and match. Now onto the vintage essentials. First up are sunglasses and this has a cat eye retro vibe and I got it from Forever 21. Next up are floral prints because that was very popular back in the day as well as the overall styled look. Another pattern that was very prominent was stripes and in modern times these are really bold and flirty looks. You love me, love me, but you never the next thing you gotta have is a velvet floppy hat and I got this from Aldo Accessories. Somehow this dresses up every look and gives it a really sophisticated vibe. A huge staple is red lips so rock up with your fave red lipstick and mine is Ruby Woo from MAC because it's very long lasting and pigmented. A modern day Polaroid camera is a fun take on the old fashioned vintage classic and these come with so many features like colored pictures and really quick printing and it's just so much fun to take a pic and instantly get your print out. So if you're going for that vintage vibe, what better way to make memories than to invest in one of these? 
And on the topic of photography, the last hack is to get vintage inspired Instagram pics. So you just have to download the free app called Repix, upload the picture you want to edit, click on the filters and go on the 7am one and it instantly gives you the beautiful washed out picture and that's it, you end up with a gorgeous vintage filter. You can also use Instagram and there are three filters we absolutely love for this effect and they are Slumber, Crema and Valencia. These all give you that beautiful vintage look. So that's a wrap for this video. We really enjoyed making these videos in collaboration with X Company and we hope that you are excited to try out some of these vintage lifestyle hacks. Give this video a huge thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Mwah.